won both previous meetings by identical four two scores this one underway in calgary and off the draw the coyotes able to flip the puck into the zone there's control behind the net lost control played ahead and worked out to center ice by nick ritchie dropped it off there's beagle the calgary native in front they score ritchie with the tip in for the top of the crease 30 seconds into the hockey game great start for arizona and it's one nothing for Arizona since coming over from Toronto gets a good breakout opportunity speed through the neutral zone and this is what the Arizona Coyotes will do they'll get a ton of their offense off the rush they don't tend to get sustained offensive zone time but this is where they will get some goals and Nick Ritchie with a stick down just beats Noah Head. there's Boyd at center drops it back to Gostas Bear Ahead of Travis Boyd on the wing. There's a long shot. Tipped in front. Turned aside by Markstrom on the redirection from the top of the crease. Really his 200-foot game this season, Cassie, that's impressed many observers. Leads the league at a plus 55. Has the puck now. Works it in front. Here's Lindholm. Hooked. Puck slides wide. Penalty coming up. Dumped in deep by Cali Yarncroke. Sattery had trouble with that. Took a weird hop out of the corner. Now Sherrington tries to take advantage for the shot. Hit Dubé in the leg, never got through. Dubé keeps the play on side. In a row, shoots, scores! The Arizona Coyotes, the Flames do a better job getting in on the forecheck. You remember the first play of the game, it wasn't a good jump in. They didn't have a good forecheck presence. Well, this is different to start the second period. There you see the giveaway, and Dubé just keeps his feet moving and shoots in stride. And fools the goaltender, Satiri. Twelfth of the season for Dylan Dubé. And we are all even early second period here. Sweep it away from Toffoli just in time. As the Flames keep the pressure on. There's the door off. Mangiapane with a shot. Scores! Two goals in the first minute, 16 of the period. The Flames take a 2-1 lead. You can tell that was the message. They needed more energy. They got two guys down low, the Flames do. They've got quick puck movement, good support. And watch Mangiapane just jump up into that soft area as he recognizes Tavoli and Backlund are eventually going to win this battle. And there you can see Zadora steps up. Mangiapane with good timing to get his stick open. And he's able to put the puck by Sattery. Kachuk makes a pass across. It goes off the skate of Boyd right on goal. Sattery turns it aside. Gaudreau goes to work behind the net. Up for Kachuk. Scores! Well, the Flames are coming in waves now, and it's 3-1 Calgary. Puts it near post. He does the same thing here, but Sattery leads the near side post. And he watches the puck goes down from Rizitska down to Goudreau, and he puts it back out the same side. And just beautiful timing there by Matthew Kachuk to come in. And nice presence by Ruzitska as well to be in the defensive posture in the offensive zone to create this turnover. Three goals in the first two minutes and 18 seconds of the second period. And... Ali Arncroft takes a pass from Zadorov and heads up ice. Here's Dubé trying to break through. Dubé scores! That's two for Dubé in this period. 4-1 Calgary. I think he's going to come in. And this starts from good support by Yarncrook. Head up the whole way, speed to the neutral zone, wins the battle. And then the speed by Dylan Dubé. This is when he's at his best, to be able to split the defense down the middle. He keeps his feet moving, pushes the puck into space. Mangiapane comes in to clean up, and now good branch and has control. With a pass up the middle, Andrew Mangiapane. Backlund on the wing, all the way across, into the place. Coleman scores! of the season for Blake Coleman makes it 5-1 Calgary. It's in their D zone and up to the neutral zone in a hurry. They catch the Coyotes on a change. A nice play by Mangiapane to kick it wide. That opens the lane from Backlund to Coleman who comes off the 
bench undetected and has all day to put this shot exactly where he wants to. But Manjapani just good support to the neutral zone for the transition. Top line back to work in the offensive zone. Here's Kachuk. Trying to cut in front. Tipped it across. Shot by Leno. Scores! Elias Leno sneaks one off the post and in and makes it 6 to 1. did that was March of 19 against the Devils as they blow this one open look to add to the lead and that's batted away Holman's at his best in getting his offensive opportunities you, you often see those chip and work it in over the blue line flips it through to Mangiapane and that's stopped by Sattery rebound cleared back to the line Hannafin's there to pick it up for Calgary and he'll here's Lindholm back to Hannafin shoots and that hit the chuck the penalty winds down. Lindholm's on it. Hannafin one more time. It beams out of the box. Gaudreau with the shot. Scores! Third point of the game for Johnny Gaudreau comes just as the power play ends. He continues to put on a show as his parents are in town. And again, a new power play unit with Mangiapane on this top unit and Hannafin as well. Daryl Sutter has switched things up and Sattery just loses his angle on this one as the puck goes around from one side to the other. He just gets a little too far. Lane home line right back on the ice for the Flames. Trying to get over the steal. Nice play to keep the play on side. Here's Lane home in front. He scores! Matthew Kachuk in with a steer at home. 8 1 Calgary. Offensively, and watch Matthew Kachuk just pushes off the defenseman, and his stick doesn't get open, but he uses his speed. It's not a kicking motion. Brad Meyer called the goal right away. Chuck took a spill as Ladd races onto the puck and then gets hit by Zadorov. And here goes Gaudreau. Lindholm back to Johnny Gaudreau. Gaudreau shoots, scores! Down the other wing, but he goes to the same spot. Top corner, glove side, and the Flames go up 9-1 here in the third. Andrew Ladd turns this puck over at the offensive blue line, and again, it's about transition through the neutral zone for the Flames, speed through the neutral zone. And this is why he's Gutierrez. This is a tough one for him because it goes so close to his mask and his head that he can't get his glove up to that area in time. But, you know, this is why... A few weeks ago in this building. The 1980s. That game. Yes. Here's a chance though. Played in front. Denied by Markstrom. Down into the cover. Up at the side of the goal. Over the Coyotes. Six wins last seven as Gaudreau gets the puck. Johnny Gaudreau puts it across. 